But one woman says, she said, the Holy Ghost within me could not fight what the Holy Ghost put in the scriptures. And when you give in to what the Holy Scripture says, you do good. All you got to do is give in to what the Bible says. Give in, give up, and tap out. Wonderful. So we baptized 88, and then from there we went to Amsterdam, to Holland. Had a beautiful turnout there. 24 was baptized there in the name of Jesus Christ. And I thank God for my brother, Brother Roland, uh -huh. because there in Amsterdam, the language is Dutch. And they many speak English too, but the predominant language is Dutch, and Brother Roland was an excellent interpreter. Done very well, first time, but once you get the rhythm together, it's just like sweet music. And he done an excellent job. From there, we went to Bologna, Italy. It was hot there, too. But uh, that's where we had the smallest crowd. But it didn't matter if it was one. That would have been good enough, too. So we baptized eight in that. In the name of the Lord Jesus. And, and from Italy, we went into Ireland. Irish folk was given up. Going down in the name of Jesus Christ, we baptized 20 there. Nice. So our combined total for the European trip was 140 souls. Wonderful. In the name of Jesus Christ. Nice. So it was a blessing. Oh, I was counting the days. <laughs> they get back home. It was wonderful to see so many Truth of God followers from Switzerland, Scotland, Ireland, Paris, France, Belgium, from so many uh, European countries that came to the meeting rejoicing. But in Europe, women preachers is just as big there as it is here. And what I find is Many of the churches who claim to be apostolic, many of them, if they're not PAW or UPC, many of them are large congregations from the islands, from Jamaica, from Trinidad, from St. Vincent or St. Thomas or somewhere over there, fills the church. Wall to wall, women preachers, bishops and elders and pastors with two and three and four wives. They believe in remarriage and divorce just like I enjoy classic cars. They are firm on swapping them wives. And they don't mind telling you that the Lord told them to do it. And the people are just so blind and full of hell, they believe it. But we are, we are grateful. While I was there, the text messages been coming in from so many parts of the world from the ministers and yeah. keep me up to date with baptism. We have a group that heard the message in Macedonia. We sent Pastor Mars from Australia to Macedonia. He baptized five in Macedonia while I was in Europe. That's a blessing. So if you hear any noise upstairs in the main auditorium, God willing, we're pushing to get ready for July of next year. That's what we're working on. The main auditorium looked beautiful. The new lights are in. You can read your Bible, regardless of how fine your print is. The lights is nice and bright. The lights is in. The uh, electricians are practically 98% finished. The tears on the balconies, practically all done. The most detailed thing is the plaster work. Uh -huh. yes, now, here in America, we don't use too much plaster on buildings. Everything is sheetrock now. Okay. A lot of your old buildings still have plaster. Yes. And for men to do plaster work today, they have to be skillful. So one of the gentlemen who's originally from Jamaica, Mr. Curtis, uh -huh. 
And I came in here because I had a one o'clock meeting on Thursday with all the contractors. They kind of give me an idea of where we are and, and give me deadlines one by one when this one is finished. So July of next year, I want to be able to dedicate upstairs during our holy convocation. What's so beautiful is, even though we built two more balconies, we have three balconies now. Do you know we have outgrown the main auditorium? You know, that's the Lord's doing. We have outgrown the main auditorium that the Lord gave us. We, we already outgrew it. So it's going to look wonderful to see so many folk hanging on from the balconies and standing all around the walls. And, but uh, it's a blessing. So the plaster, once he put the plaster on, I was watching him Thursday. He literally... Uh, have to reshape those areas that need repairing with his hands. He put the plaster on, then he used his hands to shape it. And uh, you really have to know what you're doing. And I must say that Curtis, he knows what he's doing. So uh, I have, well, you know the results that God will give us in a week or two. But this time I have a five-week report. You know, that's going to be an interesting number. Five week report. I, I see the conclusion number here. And men were not baptized that many in 50 years. And this is just about a month's report. Now, God willing, uh, we are, uh, to you that is in New Brunswick, God willing, I'm scheduled a business meeting for you. I'll let you know what day and what time. Continue to remember Mother Taylor and the Taylor family in prayer. As you know, he passed away, and I want to thank Brother Dan for taking care of the burial while we was overseas. Uh, we lost another brother, Brother Jose, in the Rocky Mount. Uh, when I got back, and, uh, I heard about that, and that was just so surprising to me. But this is what we prepare for is to meet God. And I hope that's what you're preparing for. God willing, in a few more weeks, I'll be in the Bahama Islands. I'm only here for about another two weeks. And then at the end of this month, I'll be in the Bahama Islands for the Holy Convocation there. Be my, I've been there many a times, but this is the first time as a result of the local telecast there. The telecast covers the entire Bahama Islands, all 700 islands. Nice. We can be seen locally on all 700 islands. We are on the strongest station in the Bahama Islands. And we are, we are encouraging the people to leave their churches. And they're being obedient. Oh, yes. Leave your churches. Amen. The preachers, you leave your churches and bring your robe so I can baptize you in it. Hey Amen. You don't need it no way. After that, I'll be back here in America for one week. That's the first week of uh, November. After that, I'm in Jamaica. And uh, it'll be the first time we've been back in Jamaica since COVID. Because Jamaica been closed now for about, what, three or four years. Yeah. Even when other areas of the world have opened up. Jamaican government have been very slow about opening up. So you can imagine how anxious even our enemies are about us coming. Those that hate the Jews, they're going to be in that meeting. Amen. So we have a nice size auditorium to hold many, many hundreds. And we do hope and pray that when we go to these places that many in America give these foreign countries some support. You know, to go out of the country, you will see a different kind of appreciation. For the truth than here. I'm not saying that people here in America don't appreciate the truth, but it's a different kind. Because you're spoiled. Oh, yes, you are. You're spo you even look spoiled. <laughs> when I was in Italy, one fella stood up and gave his testimony. How he saw me seven years ago. And he said, what we was preaching to him, he didn't think I was human. 
He said it shocked him so bad. He said this man cannot be human. He said he believed that one time that God sent an angel from heaven in order for me to say the things that we were saying. He just couldn't believe it. He said he waited seven years for me to come to Italy just to be baptized. He got baptized that Saturday and he testified. He said he waited seven years. Think of it. Here's a man without the Holy Ghost. Another man stood up and testified and said he waited five years. These were people that waited. They wouldn't go to no church. Watch the broadcast every day over social media. It isn't that they don't hear these other fellows here in America. They hear them. But after that's it, they hear them. When you hear this program, you hear the Holy Ghost. Amen. That's a big difference. Jesus told his apostles, that is not you that speaketh, but the voice of my father speaketh in you. I was, I was greatly encouraged. He even had tears in his eyes. He said, God answered my prayer. He said, he begged God for seven years that I would come to Italy. He said, he begged God. You know, that's some faith. Oh, yes. sure. He said, so when he saw the announcement come across social media, he said he rejoiced and cried because he knew his time was coming. Be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. So I hear testimonies like that many a time. One man wrote me and said he waited 18 years. He wouldn't go to a church in 18 years. From the day he heard the program, he left church and would not go to nobody's church for 18 years. Shiite Muslims came. Uh -huh. Went down in the water. In the name of Jesus Christ. One Shiite gave me his testimony. Amen. And how he heard the program. In prison. Overseas. And he said he was in the place where they eat. Prisons overseas ain't like here. Totally different. And he said he was watching social media and we came on. In fact, I think you say he put in who is God. That's what he put in. Who is God? He's a Shiite. He was raised at Allah Huarpa. So you say he decided to put in who is God. He said, and I came up. And he said, Pastor Jennings, I know it was God. He said, because when you came up, you was, he said, the first time I heard you. You say you broke down who Jesus was. I said, uh, I asked him. I said, are you sure it was me? He said, oh, yes. He said, the body. Mommy said, the body. I said, yeah, that's me. He said, you made it plain how the body was the son of man. How the spirit that was in that body was God. And the body got his name from the. Oh, he broke it down. Amen. He said, so I wrote you. He said, I was so determined to be baptized. I told my father, who raised us, of course, a Shiite. He told my father, I'm leaving home. And uh, he said his father went. He got an interesting testimony. He said his father went and made some underground connections. Forged a passport. So he can get out the country. Uh -huh. He said he got out the country. And the underground, as they call it. Met him on the side of the road with some other folks, uh -huh. men and women, boys and girls on a truck with a canvas full of people trying to escape the country. Yeah. He said, then I was smuggled into Istanbul. I said, why did you go through all that? He said, I was just trying to see how can I be baptized? <laughs> he said, they smuggled me into Istanbul. He said, I was in Istanbul for a while. He said, then I broke several laws and that's when I got locked up. He said, but it turned out to be a blessing because that's where I heard you. He said, after I got out of jail, he said, I tried to 
come up with ways to get to other places. He said, I had to repent because I broke all kind of law, but he said, I end up in Switzerland. He said, then I wrote you again. He said, I remember your response. You said, well, just give us some time. And he said, I figure I'm going to write this man again so he can know I'm serious. And he did. He wrote me again. And that's when I sent Evangelist Todd, and I thank God much for him. I really do. You know, all these places that write us from all around the world, many times I would pull Todd aside and send him to get things started for us. And God knows he's faithful. In fact, he's, Todd is in another land now. <laughs> He's faithful. I don't care where it is. He, he truly, say like Isaiah says, send me. I'll go. Amen. And when he go, he come back the same way he went. Which is a blessing. So I, I sent Evangelist Taj to Switzerland. The back all, and remember, Switzerland is near it's further than Australia. No, New Zealand. Beg your pardon. New Zealand. I sent them to New Zealand to baptize one person. Went all the way underneath the world. They call it the land down under. To baptize one person. Now he's in England rejoicing. The former Shiite, rejoicing. I mean, see him on the front row, standing up, clapping, rejoicing, in the spirit now. Amen. Oh, what a blessing. So to hear the different testimonies, the different ministers I've met, they came out of Pentecostal and so-called apostolic churches. Got rid of the second wives, third wives. Came out of the churches where the women could preach. Even one minister had a beautiful testimony. He said he had to be baptized over again. He said the reason why he had to be baptized over again. Because he never knew what the difference in the name being baptized simply in Jesus name versus Jesus Christ. He said they never was taught that. He said Pastor Jennings I came and got baptized over again. He said then I called everyone I baptized. And repented to them and explained the scripture that is more than one Jesus. And he said, I told all of them, you got to be baptized over. You got to do it in the name of Jesus Christ or the words Lord Jesus, not simply Jesus name. Because there's more than one Jesus in the Bible. But when you say Jesus Christ, there's none equal to him. There's none like him. There's none better than him. So, God willing, uh, in December, we're scheduled to be in New Zealand before we go to Australia. Now, the New Zealand government contacted me while I was in Europe, and they accept my arrival. Thank the Lord. <laughs> they said I can come. Australia still has me on radar. Australian government says I'm... I didn't realize that I was so known in the government of Australia. But uh, they know of us and my Bible stand. We have a Bible righteous stand that nobody will move us from. I won't move from the stand of the Bible to go in nobody's country. Amen. I put Bible on the government and put God on you. Because God can change you. But as it stands now... They still got us on hold coming to Australia. The government still have us on hold. So we going, we're not going to Australia. We canceled the Australia meeting. But we are going to New Zealand. And to all of my viewers that are watching in Australia, if I can't get to you yet, then you come on and get to me. And New Zealand. Amen. You get on a plane and come on to New Zealand and meet me there. And we'll keep 
fighting the Australian government. But one thing that makes me feel good, they are against us because of the truth. And they're not saying I can't come in because I broke law. They saying I can't come in because I believe the truth. The whole country uh, obligated or dedicated to same-sex marriages and the homosexual community have banned together throughout the country of Australia, petitioning all the government to keep me out the country. But uh, so the Australian government is trying to work in favor of the homosexuals. But what about the religious rights? Amen. What about the religious rights of the, your citizens there in your country? They have religious rights. It goes to show you that the government of Australia, and I know you hear me, you're going to hell for this. I mean, you think that Australia was on fire because you rejected us before. A fire going to come to your country greater than what was there. Right. Amen. You will understand that even if you keep me away physically, you can't keep my Lord away at all. Right. Ever. Right. Amen. So, uh, History is still being made even from this perspective. How because of what you preach, an entire government will keep you out of their country. Don't want you to land on the air, at the end of the airport. Don't even want you to land, to land there. They, they, they approve Huey in a matter of two minutes. Yeah, my secretary, my overseas secretary, Sister Lorraine, you know, put his name in for the visa, came back in almost two minutes. Wow. Amen. They will approve anybody but me. Not yet, no way. That's all right. Yeah. Am I discouraged? No. Why? God made Australia. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Amen. I'm just waiting. On the Lord. I'm not even waiting on your government. I'm waiting on God. I don't care what decision. Hallelujah. I'm to God. I don't care what decision you make concerning me. Never. Amen. The God that I represent overturned governments. That the Bible says in the days of these kings. Shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom that shall rule. And destroy all other kingdoms. So you can put me on hold for now. That's all right. I'm cool about it. Amen. But God willing, we'll be in New Zealand. God have opened up the truth of God. Uh, church preachers have came in out of New Zealand. They walk in the truth. And churches have came in throughout Australia. Amen. So if we don't go there this time, that's all right. We're going to keep fighting. Yeah. And we're going to fight the good fight of faith and lay hold on eternal life. All right. Let me update you now. Let me update you on the baptisms. Glory to God. Glory to God. Now, this is a five-week report. Uh -huh. Five-week report. 51 in headquarters, 20 in Bronx, New York, 8 in Pine Bush, Pine Brook, uh, Bush New York, 24 in New Brunswick, New Jersey, 3 in Del Mar, Delaware, 28 in Baltimore, 4 in Portsmouth, 6 in Rocky Mount, 2 in Oxford, North Carolina, 14 in Raleigh, North Carolina, 2 in Charlotte. North Carolina, three in Fredericksburg, two in Charleston, six in Columbia, two in Florence, five in Augusta, 40 in Atlanta, 17 in Miami, 10 in Orlando, one in Fort Pierce, Florida, one in Tallahassee, 12 in Houston, 12 in Colleen, Texas, 45 in Dallas, four in San Antonio, Texas, one in uh, Katy, Texas, eight in Odessa, Texas, seven in Detroit, uh, six in North Chicago, 12 in Jackson, Mississippi, 11 in Memphis, five in Chattanooga, Tennessee, three in Birmingham, Alabama, three in Harvest City, Alabama, three in Los Angeles, eight in Sacramento, three in San Bernardino, California, 
uh, two in Las Vegas, Nevada, seven in Monroe, Louisiana, one in Lafayette, Louisiana, three in Federal City, Washington, international baptisms. Uh, like I mentioned, 24 in Amsterdam, 88 in England, 20 in Ireland, 8 in Italy, 1 in Toronto, Canada, 6 in Ontario, Canada, 2 in Wimpy, Canada, uh, that's 140 there, 2 in Dubai, 1 in St. Lucia, 1 in Mauritius Islands, 1 in Adias, Abia, Ethiopia, 3 in the Netherlands, 5 more in Birmingham, England, 5 in Macedonia, 18 in Guyana, 6 in Jamaica, 6 in Trinidad, 1 in on, Durban, guys. South Africa, 14 in Lagos, Nigeria, 18 in Abuja, Nigeria, 16 in Johannesburg, 10 in Zambia, 30 in Mozambique, and 3 received the Holy Ghost. Two hundred and twenty-four were baptized in Burundi, East Africa. <laughs> making a total, making a total for five weeks, nine hundred and twenty-five souls. Amen. That's wonderful, isn't it? For a month's fishing, one month fishing, five weeks, 925 souls. Bapt Hallelujah! Go with you, God. Baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Who can say God is not in this? God Almighty is standing behind the truth of God wherever it goes. And this is all the time. 925 souls in a month. This is a blessing. You see what God have done and what he just continued to do from so many different countries. So God willing next year also, the country of India, we heard from the churches, first churches of the Lord Jesus Christ in India. Because they've been closed a long time, the whole country, because of COVID. They finally opened back up. So God willing, if there's no changes, I'll be back in India, February of 2023. God be ever helpful. For our holy convocation, first in South India. First, I've been in South India, where we have over 50 churches. And then from South India, we'll be going to East India. Uh -huh. Amen. Where the truth of the gospel is there. Where it's over, I believe in fact, I think there's over 100 churches there. In the East Indian region. So as you can see, brothers and sisters, the work just keep growing. It just keep growing. Bible says of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. <clears throat> and as I have said before, you that watch this program, when we go to these foreign countries, I do hope that as many brothers and sisters in America as possible can go to these foreign countries to give your brothers and sisters in these foreign countries some support. <clears throat> Meet your extended family. Don't get content sitting here in America. Don't do that. You want to see what the same God here is doing elsewhere. Yes. Amen. Because I got first hand seeing it. Oh, yes. Amen. And I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's good. It's encouraging. It's tiring and exhausting, but it is exhausting. It's a hard work saving folks. Yes. It's more easy for folk to reject the word of God and be lost. But it's a hard job trying to save souls. So uh, God willing, next year we'll be in so many different other areas. We will have, if it be the Lord's will, our first South Pacific tour. In other words, out there in China and Japan. 
God willing, we're looking to be the Fiji Islands, Solomon Islands, Samoa Islands, I believe it's Crook Islands or Cook Islands, all the islands out there in the South Pacific where souls have come to walk with the truth. We'll be flying from island to island, island to island, trying to rest a day or two before we go to the next place. It's a beautiful thing to read what the apostles have done. But to see it being done right in your eyes. That's why I can't take these men that's over social media fighting. I can't take you serious. I can't take you serious because you're not doing nothing. Huh? I can't take a person serious who's not doing nothing, just sitting on the sidelines. You know, the truth of God is like a team that win every game. Yeah. Amen. That's, that's a beautiful thing. Everywhere we go in the world, we don't care who's out there in the field. We don't care what's the opposing team. Lord, to God, we win every game. Yeah. And the reason why we win, because we got a good coach. And Christ is our coach. Amen. So it's a blessing. So God willing, we'll be throughout the South Pacific. Now, because we have so many European areas, and there are European areas we didn't get to. We just went to four of them this time. What we're doing for 2023, <coughs> we are consolidating all of our European convocations into one place each year. In 2023, we're polling all the European countries, starting September of 2023, for a combined, our first combined European Holy Convocation. Uh -huh. That get all of England, because we have three churches in England now. High Wycombe, England was the first place, and London was the next. We got Birmingham, and amen, and... Uh, Amsterdam, Holland, well, the Netherlands is growing beautiful, and folks out of Paris, France, and so many areas. So, uh, God willing, we're going to combine all the European countries. And what we're going to do each year is hold the European conference in the different European locations each year. And that'll give you here a chance to go to countries you probably never thought you would go to. God willing, September of 2023, the first combined European conference will be held in Holland, in the country of the Netherlands, in Amsterdam. Uh -huh. Our first combined European conference next year. And God willing, in 2024, our combined European conference will be held in Germany. We're making our rounds, and after that, we're going to hold it Switzerland then Belgium, then Ireland, then Scotland. Hey! It'll give you the opportunity to go where you never had been. Also, God willing, next year we'll be dedicating our Johannesburg South African Truth of God Temple. We'll be looking to dedicate that. So you folk that don't have no passport, go get one. You'll get one to go on vacation. You might as well come on and get one to witness the mighty work of God. So next year, God willing, we'll be dedicating Johannesburg. God willing, next year, we're scheduled to be in Mozambique and the country of Malawi for the first Mozambique Holy Convocation, Malawi Holy Convocation, and also God willing, Burundi. You know, in Burundi alone, we done baptized close to over 2,000 souls already. And Mozambique and Malawi, we done baptized several thousands already. Glory be to God Almighty. God willing, we'll be going up to Dubai. 
Amen. I, I love architect, and one thing I love about Dubai is the architectural genius that's there. So God willing, next year we'll also be in Dubai. The truth of God, the first church of the Lord Jesus Christ, yes, we're in Dubai. Amen. We're in Dubai. Amen. I send Bishop Simbali there ever so often. He ministers to the church there in Dubai. So God, in his greatness, you see what he's doing. And all the brothers and sisters can see where their money is going. We're opening up temples. I went to God, I was a multi-millionaire, so I can open up the temple the moment my feet touch the soil. Amen. That's my desire. Amen. That is my desire. Amen. So, we have a lot of work to do, brothers and sisters. A lot of work. So a lot of the churches here in America are asking, well, Pastor Jennings, uh, are you, are you think you're going to be able to make the different local anniversaries? Don't get, don't, don't, I can't promise you. You can have your anniversary without me. You might as well get used to it because I'm busy. I'm not sent to one place. I'm sent to the world. So you will find me sending a lot of ministers in my place to conduct the anniversaries of many locations. Amen. Because not only are we in different locations of America, but we're opening up new locations. Bought a new church in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and I haven't been there to see it yet. I haven't even been there to see it. I just saw it, the pictures and whatnot and on Zoom, but I have to go there and uh, get work started. They're meeting in the lower auditorium, but this time there's no major work. Just take up the carpet, put new carpet, and paint the main auditorium. Beautiful balcony and everything. So I have to get that up and running. The Detroit Temple is almost done. So God willing, hopefully that will be ready to be dedicated. Lumberton Temple, that got to be complete. The South Chicago Temple, that got to be purchased. North Chicago Temple, that got to be remodeled. Memphis, Tennessee Temple, I got to get there and be able to dedicate that. So we're busy. <coughs> Amen. We're very busy. So to answer your question, oh yeah, your anniversaries, God willing, God willing, will go as scheduled. But it's not guaranteed that I'll be there. Amen. It's not guaranteed that I'll be there. Amen. So if we send a minister, you still come and support the work of God. Amen. We have Williams in uh, Los Angeles this weekend. Amen. I know he's upset because he didn't know I was going to be here. He have no idea. So Williams, if you're watching, ha, 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 ha. Yeah, you over there in Los Angeles. Amen. He probably called me before the day is over and laid me out. But uh, he didn't know I was going to be here. He was so happy. I was happy to see him. He came on the tail end of the European tour, him and uh, Evangelist Todd. I was glad to see them both. Man, Williams, <laughs> Williams was so happy, man, you would think that a kid, was, daddy was missing. <laughs> and man, we embraced one another. He sat in the pulpit. He said, man, seemed like you was gone for so long. I said, yeah, well, I'm, 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 I'm here. He said, how you holding up? I said, pray for me. I'm running on films. Amen. But it, it's a blessing. God knows it's a blessing. All right. You that are watching and you that are here, let's go to work. Amen. Amen. First chapter of the book of Isaiah. Follow me and hear me. Isaiah chapter 1, begin at verse 1. Amen. All that noise upstairs is good to hear. Amen. I'm telling you, the main auditorium, every time I go up there, it looks like it shrinks. It does. I'm telling you, brother, the design that we have is coming out beautifully. The work that's being done, I wanted to design the main auditorium so what's in there looked like it been there since the building been here. The building was built in 1929, and I wanted a, uh, a vintage look. Not a gothic look, but a vintage, clean look. Not gaudy. I can't stand gaudiness. Right. You know, I've been in some churches. I remember I went to one church. 
The bishop put mirrors up on the ceiling of the main auditorium. Mirrors. Yeah, I guess he wanted to see himself when he go to hell. <laughs> he had mirrors. I kid you not, he had mirrors all in the main auditorium. All up on the ceiling, all on the walls. Like it's a club. All you need was a crystal ball hanging down. Amen. So no, we're not doing that. Uh, but the design that we have is coming out beautiful. So uh, God willing, we already got the carpet picked out. We already got the material picked out for the cushions. The cushions will be of the same material like what you're sitting on now, but total different look. I thought of a, uh, a pattern that looked like a basket weave. Amen. So it's a basket weave pattern that looked like it was hand woven for the cushions. And uh, it's going to be beautiful. What saith it? It's going to be beautiful. All right. Let's go to work, Moretti. Let's have it. All right, I'm back. Turn them up. Are you on? Your green light on? All right, let's see. Let's hear it again. I don't hear nothing. Move it to your lapel. Move it to your lapel and see what happens. Move it close up. All right, let me hear you now. I don't hear nothing. All right, now you had time to test this stuff out before I came here. Yes, tap, tap, tap your microphone. I don't, it's on, but I don't hear nothing. The green light is on. Come on, son. Come on, move quick, because I didn't come all the way from Italy for the before silence. <laughs> it's on. All right, uh, give him a microphone that's with a stand or something so I can dive in the Bible quick. Don't even try to fix it. Just get the stand. Get the stand and hook him up. Come on, get the stand and load him. Move quick. Let's move quick because I'm on the clock. Let's adjust it right and get it right. Let it down. And uh, let the thing down. Let the brother adjust it. See, you don't know what you're doing. You let that part down. <laughs> let, let, that, let that stand down. Let it down and get it right. You don't know what you're doing. You can tell it just fell over. <laughs> Come on, son. Can you get it? All right, lean, lean it to him. Lean it right down to his mouth so when he leaned down to read. <laughs> Amen. I need everybody to hear him. In the book of Isaiah. All right. Turn him up. Turn him up. Come on. Go ahead, Meredith. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 1. <laughs> book of Isaiah, chapter... I can't see. You can't see? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Come on. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 1, in that verse 1. All right. The vision of Isaiah, the son of Amos. The vision... Of Isaiah, of Isaiah, the son of Amos, the son of Amon, which he was, which he saw concerning Judah. Now Isaiah, whom many scholars, not the Bible, scholars call him the eagle died prophet. Ain't no Bible ever said he. Ain't no Bible ever gave him no such title. Amen. Theology gave him that eagle died prophet. Ain't no Bible said that. He just was the prophet of the Lord and Savior. Get this now. The vision of Isaiah, the son of Amos, which <coughs> he saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem in the days of Uzziah, Jotham, yes. Ahaz, and Hezekiah, kings of Judah. And uh -huh. hear, O heavens. Hear, O heavens. And give and ear. Give ear. O earth. Earth. For the Lord have spoken. Now, the whole earth and heaven. Amen. You may ignore God now, buddy. But a day going to come, you're going to hear him. You know, this scripture make me think of the days of Moses when Israel wouldn't hear what God had to say. They didn't want to hear Moses, so therefore, they wanted to hear God because they lost confidence or didn't believe Moses. So they came at the foot of the mountain. Yeah. And brother, God start talking. All that thunder and enlightening. Israel told Moses, look, you tell God, go back. We we'll hear you. You tell God, go on back. Human family, you can be as stubborn as you possibly can be now. But a day coming, you're going to hear God not through anybody. Right now, you hear God within man. 
You know, God told his apostles, it's not you that speaking, but the voice of my father speaketh in you. But a day is coming that God won't speak through man no more. He gonna speak personally by himself. I can't even imagine. I can't imagine the sound. All I can do is go by the various descriptions of his voice in scripture. The sound of many waters. Another scripture says, like thunder. Another scripture says, it's as if when a lion roars. Can you imagine that? Imagine hearing that sound that exceeds a thunderstorm. You don't want to advise you to hear God now while he's speaking man. If you're wise, it's best you hear that right now. Not only hear it, but obey it. That's right. Hear this now. Hear, O heavens. Hear, O heavens. And give ear, O earth. Give ear, O earth. For the Lord For the spoken. Lord. For the Lord, the Lord have spoken. Has spoken. I have nourished and brought up children. Look at here. God said, I have nourished and brought up children. I have took care of children. And they have rebelled against me. And they have rebelled against me. Against God. Look at your human family and you that are here. God got a complaint. I advise you to listen to it. You better listen to it and you better respect it and examine yourself. You know, you take any father, not every father, because some fathers are bums. But a good father that loves his family will take care of him. And when he come home and see the house all dirty and filthy, he know he don't work hard and is working hard to pay off that mortgage. Amen, paying insurance, light bill, gas bill, and all that stuff. He don't want to come home, the dishes in the sink, and clothes everywhere, and all. He don't want that. He understand that sometimes folks may work and get busy, he ain't got time, but when he starts seeing it every day, he going to file a complaint. That's if he's responsible. Mother, same way. Mother come home and always got to see rooms dirty and all that. She going to be like, all right, look, look now. Right. You better get it together. Amen. Well, I work. I said, all right. You work, but when you're done, let's get this stuff cleaned up. Right. When I came up, we had the mop floors, take out trash, clean between the spindles of the staircase. We wasn't raised to clean the house just when guests come. We was raised to keep the house clean, period. Now I want everybody to hear God's complaint. Hear, O oh heavens. Hear. Glory to God, glory to God. O oh heavens. O oh heavens. And give ear, O oh earth. Pay attention, earth. For the Lord the has Lord spoken. It's talking. Yeah. I have nourished and brought up children. God said, I have nourished. And I have raised, not just Israel, I raised the human family. How do God raise us? Through teaching. That's it. He sent prophet after prophet after prophet with the word of the Lord to inform God's creation about God's statutes, God's duties, what God expects out of us, what God requires of us, what God wants from us. Because we are God's creation and God have rights over us. You know, God got say so over us. He got the right to tell you how he wants you to be, how he don't want you to be, where he wants you to go, where not to go, what to do, what not. Why? He got rights over us. Who will say, God, do you hear this? Hear, O heavens. Hear, O heavens. And give ear, O earth. <coughs> Give ear, O earth. For the Lord have spoken. The God of heaven is talking. I have nourished and brought up children. And? And they have rebelled against me. That's something. Nobody can nourish you and bring you up like God. That's right. How did God nourish us? Even naturally. 
put food in our mouth. Clothes on our back. A roof over our head. Even if it's not the roof that you want. At least you're not out there in the rain. That's true. A car is a privilege. Eh? It's a privilege. Amen. There's some folk that won't go nowhere if their car break down. They won't even go to church. But yet they went before they got one. But go to show you how lazy you become. Eh? Amen. Car break down. Somebody say, well, I used to take public transportation to church, but uh, no, I don't think I can do it now. But yet they're taking to go downtown. They're taking to meet a friend. They're taking to go eat. They're taking to go out to dinner. But when it comes to God, they'll wait if that car sit for six months. Spoil. God got a controversy with you. <clears throat> Get me now. Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth. What is it? For the Lord have spoken. I have nourished and brought up children. And, and they have rebelled against they me. They rebelled against me. The ox know of his owner. The ox. Uh-oh. God, look at God making a, a, a beautiful example. Yeah. The, ox the ox know of his owner. Do you know your owner? Yeah. Amen. Human family, do you know your owner? God say the ox know his owner the and the ox, ox knows does. His owner. The ox can be somewhere on the other side of the fence. But when the ox owner come, the ox turn around. And start walking towards the owner. The owner can just sit there. And the ox know its owner. What is God telling us? He's comparing the intelligence of an animal. And the respect of an animal. To the so-called intelligence. And the lack of respect. That is in man. The ox know its owner. The ox know who feeds him. That's right. Glory to God. Amen. Eh? Amen. But yet the human family, they claim that they love God, but in works, they deny him. Claim that they know God, but in works, they deny him. Listen at this. The ox know of his owner. The ox. Sometimes folks have prayed and asked God for a job and God gave it to them and they forgot all about God. Right. You ask them, are you coming to church? They won't hesitate. No. Are you going to work? Yes. Are you going to church? No. Can you get to church? Yes. Then God step in and take the hay from that ox. Take your job, take your car, take your house, take your apartment, take everything. Amen. You know, when you put God first, you're not supposed to put him first temporarily. Amen. It must be a permanent thing. That's it. From yeah. the womb to the tomb. That's it. Eh? Amen. Listen at this now. The ox knoweth his owner. The ox knoweth his owner. And the ass his master's And the crib. ass, the donkey. His master's crib. His master's crib. But Israel. Wait a minute. Uh -huh. But Israel. Doeth not know. My people doeth not consider. Do you hear that? God brought you out of sin. You served him for a while. God took the cigarettes out your mouth. You thank him. For a while. Put clothes on your back, food in your mouth, give you shelter, you yeah. thank them. Become serious for a while. You know, I've met people that done backslid, been out of church for years, and the devil trick them because they somewhere still shaking and they think they still got the Holy Ghost. Out the church, five, six, seven, eight, ten years, ten years out there in the world. And talking about the Lord still dealing with you, the devil dealing with you. Uh, don't you know God here uh, depart from you, and then the devil take over mm. and give you a tongue and give your body movement. 
And because you didn't stick around God long enough to tell the difference from reality and formality, now you're left with formality that you mistake for reality. That's it. Out there smoking and drinking and partying and gambling. 10, 20, 30 years out there in the world. Come on, I still got the Holy Ghost. God's still dealing with me. Hey, you, you ain't got the Holy Ghost. That's right. Huh? That's right. And man, God warns you over a period of time before he pack up and leave. Amen. But the Bible says in 2 Chronicles, you better read that. 2 Chronicles chapter 15. Because there's a lot of folk deceived like that. And the devil start shaking them like it's some form of quickening. And let them go off in some tongue. And they use that and, and, and still think they're walking with the Lord. You ain't walking with the Lord. You're nothing but a sinner. Because the Lord said to forsake not the symbols yourself together as a man of some has done. Then he says so much the more as you see the day approaching. Yeah. Hear this now. Second Chronicles chapter 15 and at verse 1. Get this. And the Spirit of God the came of upon God, Azariah. The Spirit of God. You know it's beautiful when you got the real thing come on you. Oh yes. The Spirit of God came upon Azariah the son of Oded when he went out to meet Asa. And said, and said, said hear him, ye me Asa. And all Judah and all Benjamin. All of Judah and Benjamin the Lord is with, is you, with you. While ye be with him. Wow. You want the Lord to be with you? He's with you while ye you're with him. with him. This is, this is so plain here. The Lord is with you. Now if I can backslide and stay away from God 10, 15, 20, 30 years and still got the Holy Ghost and still speaking in tongue, I'm leaving church after this service. I'm with you. You with me? I'm with you. Can I get you with me ready? I'm getting out of here. Yes, sir. Amen. I'm getting out of here. Mm. The devil make a fool out of you. Right. He got you somewhere shaking and going to some tongue. Shinging, ding, 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 ding. Shingening, you got shingles. <laughs> huh? I've met folk like that out of church 10, 15, 20 years. The devil trick them. Come out, the Lord dealing with you. You're so foolish. Amen. Now, don't you know the devil got an imitation fire? Fire came while Elijah was on the mountain, and Elijah said, God is not in the fire. The earthquake, go and take God while the prophet was there. The prophet said, the Lord is not in the earthquake. Strong wind came, rent the rocks. The prophet said, the Lord was not in the wind. Not in the wind. Eh? Listen at this now. Hear ye me, Asa, and all Judah and Benjamin. Hear me. Asa, Judah, and all of Benjamin, the Lord is with you while you be with him. And if ye seek him. If you seek him. He will be found of you. You ain't seeking the Lord? You're not even seeking him? You out there acting like a fool, talking about something you still got the Holy Ghost? What do you think God is, a toy? Well, that's right. Hear this. If ye seek him. Look at the term. If. If. Ye seek him. If you seek him. He will be found. You got folk that blaspheme God that used to believe is one. Now they say there's two. Blaspheme and still jerking. Speaking in some tongue with the spirit of blasphemy. That's right. Yeah, think of it. God left you and Satan took over. Mm. And now all you got is a form of godliness. The form of godliness. You still act out in the form of pretense. You still got the movement. You still got a sound that sound like tongues from God. But it's the moving of hell. Yeah. That's where the form of godliness coming at. Listen now. The Lord is with you. The Lord is with you while, while you be, be with, with him. him. And if you seek him. If you pursue him. He will be found of Yeah, that's your final. But. Yeah, 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 yeah. But. If you forsake him. If you leave the Lord. He will forsake you. That's plain. He will. That one save always save is a myth. That's why God tells the backslider return unto me. Oh, ye backslider, come on back. You've been out there long enough, and then you got to do your first works over. That's right. Come on back. You've been out there acting like a fool, drinking and gambling and smoking, and you think you're doing all right because you watch the telecast every day and don't miss no live webcast. That won't help you. You can watch it all your life, but if you don't obey, you'll go to hell just the same. That's it. The Lord is with you while you be with him. And if you seek him. You he, seek him. He will be found of you. You can find him. 
But look at the terms. But if you forsake him, you leave God. He will. He forsake will. You. He will. He will. He will. You know when God you. say He will do a thing, you can bank on it. He will. He will forsake you. He's gonna leave you. All right, let's go back to where we were now in the first chapter of the book of Isaiah. Follow me and get this. Back in the book of Isaiah, chapter 1, in that verse 1. Follow me. The vision of Isaiah, the son of Amos, which he saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. What is it? In the days of Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, uh -huh. and Hezekiah, kings of Judah. Hear, O heavens. Hear, O heavens. And give ear, O earth. Give ear, O earth. For the Lord hath spoken. God is talking. I have nourished and brought up children. Now to all of you that are here, you that are watching. God is taking care of you. Amen. Ah. Yeah, yeah, even you sent us. That's right. You out there acting like a fool, even the atheists. Well, God is taking care of you too. That's right. Oh, I'm my own man. That's what you think. I'm my own woman, you fool. That's what you think. You're not your own. If you're your own, let me see you get yourself out of prison. Let me see you heal yourself. Let me see you give yourself your sight. When that stroke come on you, let me see you stop the stroke on your own. That's right. When that heart attack come on you, what, let's, let's see, can you stop it? Stop the attack. You're not your own. God is your boss. God is your creator. God is your maker. You breathe by God's permission. You talk by God's permission. You walk by God's permission. You sleep and wake up by God's permission. You're able to spit off yourself by God's permission. You're only able to bend and pick up something by God's permission. If God shuts you down and cuts you off, nothing you can do about it. Are you getting what I'm telling Amen. you? Amen. Do you hear this? Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth. Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth. For the Lord God has spoken. God is talking here. I have nourished and brought up children. I have nourished and brought up children. And they have rebelled against me. And they're hard -head. The ox know of his owner. And they are too. They're hard -head. God placed in the scriptures for man's salvation to repent of his sins. Be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. They hear that. They turn their back on and they go join some fake church. Bow your head and raise your hands and pray a sinner's prayer. Get baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost and say, I, I know I'm saved. Even though you show them in the Bible that nobody done what they done. That's true. They won't hear. That's true. And they don't care. Uh -huh. The ox knows of his owner. The ox knows his owner. And the ass his and master's the ass crib. And his master's crib. But Israel. But Israel. Do if not know. They don't know. They don't know. They're hard headed. Uh -huh. My people do if not consider. My people don't consider how they act. My people don't consider how they think. My people don't consider how they treat me. My people don't consider what come out of their mouth. In reference to me, that's what God is talking. That's right. yeah. Be careful what come out of your mouth touching the Lord. Amen. Be careful when you try to quote a scripture to justify yourself. Amen. And make sure that scripture fit in the same way that God said it. Amen. Be careful. You're better off not quoting nothing. That's right. Huh? Amen. What did he say? The ox know of his owner. The ox, viewers, 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 do you know your owner? Do you know God owned you? How do you reverence him? Amen. You know, in the days of Noah, when God gave Noah charge and let him know he's going to destroy the world, and when he went, uh, the animals had to come into the ark. When they came to the ark, they bowed. Nice. Huh? Nice. <laughs> Glory nice. to God, the, the animals, they kneeled. They bowed. Amen. Maybe you hear his old hard head man. Get a little bit money and think he's somebody. Amen. You bear in mind whatever money you got, God got more than you. That's right. He'll soon snatch the breath out of your nostrils and you'll leave all that money behind. Your money, your car, your wife, your children. I want everybody to understand you don't have nothing. Who, Pastor Jennings? Nobody. Nobody. I think of all the churches that's being built 
property being bought and how we are expanding around the world. We don't own nothing. Even when we pay for it cash, we don't own nothing. Eh? Why? The Bible says the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof mean everything in it. Everything that's in the earth or we take God that belong to him. That's it. Including you too, you old hard head thing that are watching now. You belong to God. Right. You only got a short time. God has only given you a little bit of time to keep cussing at this program and keep fighting it and keep rejecting it and keep staying out there in sins. God has only given you a short time, Mr. and Miss, to keep living together, got not married. He's only given you a short time. Right. You ain't got long to keep shacking up. Won't be for long. Amen. That the next time she mount up on you, amen, and she's wondering why you're extra hard is because you're cold as ice. <laughs> hey! yeah? oh, yes! You're hard from head to your feet. You're dead now. Imagine your last act in the earth was fornication. Mm. Your last act in the earth was cheating on somebody, making a bad deal. Your last act in the earth was a lie that came out of your mouth. Your last act in the earth, you said there is no God. Your last act in the earth, you let a woman preach and baptize you. Your last act in the earth, you perform the same sex marriage. If your last act in the earth is sin, you're lost. I didn't say if your last act in the earth is S-I-N-S, plural. I said if it's S-I-N, singular, you're lost. Because that's a spot, and that's a wrinkle, and that fall under a such thing. And if you got a such thing, one spot, one wrinkle, it'll keep you out of eternity with God. You better hear this, you ox. You ox is out there. You better hear about your owner. God is your owner. That's it. You don't own nothing here. Go with it, God. Hallelujah. You don't own nothing, I said. What did he say, son? The ox knoweth his owner. The ox knoweth his Blessed owner. Blessed be the name of God knoweth his owner. And the so ass that's his why, master's that's why I, I'm not impressed what nobody owns. Eh? I mean, you know, a lot of folk, they hear that someone moves somewhere, they get nosy. I didn't know they lived there. I guess you didn't. They didn't tell you. I didn't know you moved there. I guess you didn't. They didn't tell you. Well, why didn't you tell me? They didn't want you to know. Well, what you got to hide? I don't have to have nothing to hide. They private. Just like you got a right to be private. So do they. That's right. Huh? Yeah. Amen. But when the Lord comes, everybody going to know. That's right. Think of it. You're sitting there lying to someone, and when you look up, there's the Lord. Can't repent. Too late. Too late. The Lord appear, and right when He appears, it's coming out of your mouth. It ain't no God. Too late. The Lord appear, and simultaneously, you're cheating on your income taxes. Too late. The Lord appear, and simultaneously, you're going to meet your boyfriend somewhere. Too late. Too late. Pulling your drawers up after fornicating. Too late. Snapping your bra on after fornicating. Too late. Hey! God got a controversy. You better hear God talk. The ox knows his own. When God appear, you're coming on your wig. Too late. Simultaneously, you're putting your fake lipstick on. Too late. Anything that God told us not to do. And he find us doing when he come lost. Hallelujah. Thank you. Lost. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Lost. Hallelujah. You better hear God complain. The ox know of his owner. Do you know your owner? Hallelujah. Amen. Do you know your owner? God own you, Miss Cutie. That's it. God own you, Mr. Thing. Yes. You don't belong to yourself, or you're that big of a fool. You came here naked, you're going out naked. That's it. Do you hear God talking? The ox knows his owner. The ox is intelligent. It knows his owner. And the ass his and master's the ass crib. Knows what? His master's, his master's crib. crib. But Israel. But Israel. Doth not know. 
Look at when, when, when I was in England, the purple gang showed up. Purple gang showed up on the last day of the England meeting in the evening session. But England, you know, the country of England is stricter than here in America. Amen. They didn't even allow you to have speakers outside. Amen. They, were, they wasn't allowed to come in the building. We ain't had to do, they couldn't come in. And they, wasn't, they couldn't have no speakers outside. And they was out there in the rain. <laughs> People driving by looking at the Purple Gang and whatnot. Amen. And, Purple gang trying to run up the people's cars to give them fly. The people look at them and just shook their head and kept driving. Left the purple gang out there uh, like Barney's relatives. <laughs> huh? Hey man, they gonna, uh, you're going to find the purple gang and all the type of gangs out in the streets of the world doing the same thing when Israel God come. Right. And you're going to find that out there and now that purple and any other group out there. Ain't going to mean nothing if you had not repented of your sins and was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and received the baptism of the Holy Ghost and continued steadfastly in the doctrine of the apostles that Jesus gave them. Jesus opened up the understanding of his apostles and told them that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations beginning at Jerusalem. They went to Jerusalem and obeyed what he said. Do you hear this? The ox knoweth his owner. The ox know his owner. And the ass his master's crib. You look at people out here in the street. They don't respect their owner. They don't respect God. Young kids out here wild as they can be. Just out here all hours of the night. Robbing and killing. 10, 11, 12, 13 years old. Robbing and killing. Parents won't discipline them. You correct somebody else, child, won't be for long. You got to fight the parent. parent. Parent tell you, don't bother my child. And won't you do something? You unroll a hell bound baby makers out here. You know how to make babies, but you're too cheap and too weak and too worthless as a man to bring discipline and order and take care of your children. You're going to go to hell for that. Hear what the Bible says. The ox knows his owner. The ox. It knows his owner. And the ass his master's and crib. And the ass his master's crib. But Israel. Israel. Doeth not know. They don't know. My people doeth My not consider. people. Look at God talking. My people. God said you won't even consider. Imagine that. Here's God is speaking. You won't even consider what he's saying. Who are you? Where did you become so much? When did you become so popular, so cute, so handsome? When did you become so uh, into yourself that now you're more important than God? Because that's what the people attitude is. Oprah can say something. Dr. Phil can say something. Dr. Oz can say something. Wendy Williams can say something. Whatever she's saying. Any Hollywood talk show host can say something and have the world undivided attention. Nobody hardly will question it. But when God talk, they say, I don't believe that. That's true. That ain't for real. That's it. Let a politician talk. They will consider what he said. Let God talk. Ah, I don't believe that. Some man put that in there. Do if not consider. They won't even consider. They won't consider that God is God. That's it. They don't even show interest. They look at every program that come out of hell on television. They show interest in that. But the truth of God, they don't even remember when it come on. Hmm? Amen. Not interested. Here it is, your daily bread. Here it is, your daily spiritual bread. They give you the lessons and the wisdom of God so you can escape God's judgment. You better be interested. Everything about your being. Oh, it take God better be interested here. That's right. Yeah? Amen. What did he say, son? My people do of not consider. My people do of not consider. Is that you? Amen. You that are here, you that are watching. Are you one of those ones that won't even consider? Have you not considered? Have you become so relaxed in making money? Have you come so lax because you got a house and got a car or cars? Have you become so lax because you got the wardrobe now you always wanted and got a wad of money? 
Have you become so lax now? You consider those worthless things and give those things more attention and you don't even consider God? When you inhale and exhale, you're doing it by God's mercy. Your eyes, that's lit to you. I want to make it so plain. Your eyes, that you're borrowing. Mm -hmm. You're just borrowing. The vision that's lent to you now. You better consider your owner. Eh? Your sense of taste that you have. Glory to God just for a while. You better consider your owner. The feet that you can pat. Your fingers that you can clap. The eyes that you can close and open. And the ears that you now have. Glory to God. You better consider your owner. Are you listening to the old man? Oh, yeah. The Holy Ghost says what? My people do have not considered. God spoke this. My people. Thousands of years ago and it's just as good now as it is then. My people. Do have not consider. They don't consider. A sinful nation. Ah. Dirty nation. Sinful nation. Sinful nation. A people, A people laden with iniquity. Loaded. They loaded with sin. Oh, yeah. Amen. That's why God sent a man. God sent a man that would crowd against the world, not run hand in hand with the world. That's what make God men different from all others. All other men, they scared to offend the world. Sure. They want friends. God man don't care if he don't have no friend from nobody. He got sense enough to know if he got God on his side, he got the world beat. Amen. Amen. If you got a good friend, that's all right. But having God is better. Right. If I have a good friend, oh, all right, that's good. But if I don't have none, I live. I still will eat. I still will sleep. Amen. Because God will do for me what no friend can do. That's it. Yeah. Are you listening? Amen. What if God says what? Ah, sinful ah. nation. Sinful nation. nation. A people laden with iniquity. A the people nicotine. loaded with evil. Yep. A seed of evildoers. What? A seed of Satan evildoers. Seed. A seed of evil. Spawn evildoers. evil. Yeah. My God, if you look at this generation that's out here now, truly a seed of evildoers. Yeah. Cuss your mother out. Cuss your father out. Have no respect for the elders. Stay out all night and still want to live under their parents' roof and don't want the parents to get on them. You want to stay out all night and you ain't working and think your parents not supposed to say anything? Then get out and get your own roof. Hmm? You still with your parents? You don't just clean your room and you live in a whole house. You help take care of the whole house. Amen. Amen. You take care of home before you take care of friends. You take care of home before you commit yourself to others. You take care of home first. Amen. That's why the word of God said that all things be done decently and in order. Amen. It's just like when it comes to your soul. You take care of your soul first and don't worry about nobody else's. Save yourself. Go and say, God, get yourself right first. You better leave everybody else alone. You work on self. That's right. Did you hear the Bible talking? Oh, sinful nation. Ah, God want to show you how to prioritize. Sinful, hard head nation. A people laden with iniquity. A people loaded with the devil. A seed of evil. A doors. seed. A offspring of evil doers. Brother, they are carjacking. My son Jordan was telling me about a young boy, a kid. He was, Jordan was at the gas station putting gas in his car. A young kid came and held him up with a toy gun. My son told him, he said, look, your gun is not real. He said, he told him, he said, you better thank God I know it ain't real. 
He said, young boy, don't you know someone can kill you out here? I asked him, I said, so what did he do then? He said, dad, he kept taunting me. He kept taunting me. He said, so I figure I show him a lesson. Yeah. He took the gasoline pump and threw some gas on him. <laughs> and then said, all I got to do is throw this match on you. After that, the boy said, oh, no, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. Don't do that. Right then, the boy got converted. He wasn't going to throw a match on him. But he called the boy's bluff. Jordan said he called the cops and called. Hey, the, the parents came. I said, how did the parents act? He said, the parents act like they wasn't even surprised of the boy's conduct. And that's exactly where these kids are now. You young boys think it's funny getting toy guns, holding people up. Everybody ain't going to be nice at you. Somebody going to blow your head off. You young, fast girls out here that's running in groups, trying to carjack like boys. Somebody going to shoot you and kill you. Stop letting your mothers and fathers go to the cemetery over and over and over burying their children because you are too ignorant to value life. A mother and father don't look to bury their children. No. They look for their children to bury them. You better hear, you better hear the old troublemaker oh, now. Yeah. I'm warning you. When we were kids, we can play like that with toy guns. Right. Not now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Even if you ain't got a gun, you can't even pretend like you reach him. That's right. Because somebody may have the real thing That's right. and drop you. That's right. All these young kids, 10, 12, 13, being buried like flies, dying for the stupidest reason. Young girls dying for a senseless reason. You mothers don't say nothing, many of you. Many of you fathers don't say nothing because you're too drunk to say anything. Hear this now. What did he say, son? Ah, uh, sinful nation. Ah. Uh, he sound like he tired. The <laughs> prophet sound exhausted. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, sinful nation. Tired. Exhausted. Disgusted. Yes. Sinful nation. A people A laden people with iniquity. Laden, loaded. Loaded with sin. A seed of evil doers. A seed. Glory to God of evil doers. Children that are children. That are what? Corruptors. That are corruptors. Mm. Children. Children. Children that are corruptors. Yeah, they do a flash mob thing. Go inside of a department store. Turn over all the clothes. Hold everybody up. Push old women down. Beat up old women. Beat up old men. Think it's fun. Don't you know the word of God said? God says. You'll reap what you sow. That's it. God has sit back for years and let you get old. And then let a mob come and do the same thing to you that you've done to somebody else, That's Father. That's right. You won't get away. Oh, no. take God, God, a see to it that you won't get away. Do you hear this? A seed of evil doors. A seed. Of evil doers. Children that are corruptors. Children. That goes for you that are in church. That goes for you that are in church. Amen. Amen. You young brothers, you young sisters, you young brothers that got this womanizing demon in you. Amen. 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 You are seed of evil doers. Seed of evil doers. Amen. Amen. You want to talk to two or three and four or five, six, seven, something at one time. Amen. Seed of evil doers. Amen. When a brother is talking to a sister and he, and he ain't married to that sister, then you other sister step back. Nice. Nice. 
But, but brother, don't need to complain about the sister not stepping back when you the one walking forward. You know, some of you brothers ain't ready for a relationship with a dog. <laughs> you're just too, you're too immature. You know, you got to be ready for one. And when you ain't ready for one, stay to yourself. Hear me, hear me, hear me, God. And because they're in the truth of God, they don't mean they're marriage material. You know, a lot of folk is dumb enough to think because a young man or a young girl come from a decent home that they're a good product. You are fools. Don't you know Lucifer came from heaven? <laughs> are you that ignorant? Lucifer came from heaven and was made by God. From heaven. And if you can come from heaven rotten, you can come out of a good house rotten. That's it, man. You never thought of that, did you? Well said. Judas came from Jesus. But he was rotten and no good. That's right. Get me? That's right. Amen. Amen. Some sisters get in Zoom them on a brother, want to marry him. And here's that brother, nothing but a kid. Because someone uh, got a beard or a mustache and got a little fuzz and got some, uh, and maybe in their, uh, past 21, I don't mean they marriage material. That's right. What you got sometimes is big boys in diapers. <laughs> Not men, big boys, big kids. In diapers. And you get a young man who's nothing but a big boy in diapers and he came into the knowledge of his lower nature and he have no discipline. He ain't going to turn no leg down. No. He's a leg man. I don't mean the two legs that walk either. That's not that part of the leg I'm talking about. You build it. They say if you build it, they will come. Leg man. Yeah, me good now. I want to soak you. I told you I'm back. Hey, man. Big boy. Not ready for marriage. They just want to get laid. And ready for no marriage. This one offer him some leg. Okay. This one offer some leg. All right. This one offer some leg. All right. Hey, think about no marriage. Ain't no marriage material. I don't care. Listen, look past the suit. Look past the tie. Look past all the shoes with the toes pointing up like Alibaba. No more fit to marry than a dog can wet a cat. You young brothers that are watching your overseer that want to be a minister. If you can't keep your drawers on, you ain't waiting to be no minister. First, content, listen, first control your lower head. And then think with your upper head. Hear me? Control your lower head. And think with your upper head. You two-headed fool. Get me? Well, you want to be ministers. You ain't fit to be no ministers. You ain't ready to be no minister. And everything that walked past you, you ready to pounce on it? You ain't ready to be no minister. You're like an untamed dog. Dogs don't preach. Dogs need to be tamed and fed and disciplined. All you two-headed young boys out here that's in the truth of God, that's looking at the pulpit. Stop looking. First, master, keeping your jaws on. First, keep your lower head in your pants. Get your eyes off the pulpit. Control your nature. You ain't fit to be no preacher. You ain't fit to be no preacher. You ain't even ready. Still in diapers. You need wipes. Get me? Amen. 
Some of you brothers and sisters make it worse when you run behind some of these brothers. Oh, man, you got the gift. Shut up. Only gift they got is they keep dropping their pants and drawers. Are you listening? Get your eyes off the pulpit. You ain't ready for it. You ain't ready for no pulpit yet. Dust it. Wipe it down. <laughs> Clean it. But you ain't fit to preach from it. Are you getting what I'm telling you? The Holy Book says. Ah. Ah. Sinful nation. Dirty thing. <laughs> ah. Sinful nation. You dirty thing. Are you listening? A people laden with iniquity. People laden, loaded. With iniquity. Some of you such are sitting around waiting to marry somebody. Everybody ain't marriage material. That's true. Amen. Even in my own house, my sons ain't ready to get married. They ain't ready to marry none of you. Some of you looking at my sons because they're Jennings. I wouldn't care if they were Gabriel's children. They ain't none of my boys ready to get married. I know whether my boys or girls ready to marry or not. I'm not a fool. I got the oversight. I can see. You go somewhere and tarry for the Holy Ghost. Ain't none of my sons ready to marry. Ain't none of them even fit to marry yet. They ain't ready. When you ain't ready, you ain't fit. Who? None of them. Go and say, you put your children down. I ain't putting them down. I'm calling a spade a spade. If I call a spade about you, what make you think I won't call a spade about my house? Well, if I was you, you ain't me. So you ain't fit to say what I say. You stay in your place and let me handle my place. Oh, you fast sisters want to run behind my boys just because they're Jennings. Them boys ain't they ain't ready for a relationship with no sister. They too immature. They're not meant to be any emotionally mature enough. So keep your skirt on and get your lips off his lips. Maybe one day, one day they'll be ready to marry. But right now, they ain't ready to marry. They ain't ready to be committed to one. I'm sitting around here with your eyes on my son. <laughs> Come on, I'm going to wait. Wait, you fool. I'm telling you, and I'm his daddy. You a fool. You sitting waiting on my son to do what? They are bearded boys. That's what they are. Bearded boys. Grown men by age. Are you looking at the number of your age? I'm looking at your level of thinking and the stability of your heart. Being married, you must be ready and mature to take that responsibility. You don't get married to have sex. And yet what you got ain't what you want. Y'all sisters sitting around looking at my sons like a bunch of sloppy mouth foxes. I'm going to wait. Wait for what? Go tarry for the Holy Ghost. That's what you should be waiting for. Wait, the Bible says tarry. Mean 
wait until you're being due with power from on high. Some of you young boys trying to commit yourself to sisters in the church. Then you talk to that sister, that sister, that sister, that sister, that sister. Like you was a politician. Young girls with babies and then throw the baby on some young boy. Here you're not even married and some woman don't reduce you down to a baby carriage. Can't even listen to your own mother and your own father, but some old young sister can dump her baby in your arm and tell you like a dog, get up, sit down, bark, roll over, play dumb. That's not hard, they can do that. God made man. And God made me a commander to make soldiers out of men. So you sisters that's giving each other the eye because y'all interested in the same one? And neither one of you need him. He ain't fit for none of you. That's why they don't like me and I don't care. Jimmy crack corn and I don't care. If my girl's gonna marry someone, I want them to marry someone that my wife and I don't mind calling our son-in-law. We can, we can say it with pride. Want no two headed dog? Can't keep their drawers on, not even at the Muppets? You got to have some discipline. If you drop your drawers at everything that come along, you're the dog. Did you hear what I said? You're the dog. In church or out of church? Well, Pastor, you don't know how it is. You can't tell me that. I ain't been 59 all my life. Well, God's hand was on you from birth. God wasn't forcing me to do nothing. I made up in my mind as a kid. I ain't having no babies. And I ain't married. That was my decision. My call. I got them on keys. I made young girls who pulled it off. <laughs> go to a young girl house, go upstairs with clothes on and come down in a birthday clothes. And then stand in front of the door and lock it. And say, you leaving, Gina? You leaving? I told him, yes. Yes, I'm leaving. It's time for me to go now. <laughs> I don't forget the young girl told me, you mean to tell me I'm standing here with no clothes on and you can just walk past me? I said, yeah. She said, well, how in the world can you do that? I said, what I don't want don't faze me. If I don't want it, it don't bother me. The only problem come in is when you want it. But when you tore up from the floor and then trying to set somebody up, don't you think everything that's stripping their clothes off love you? Someone's already pregnant. But the dog that got them pregnant kept going. So they offer themselves to you the next day or the week later and then they blame that baby on you because you's a sucker. So you something that's in behind my sons, leave all of them alone. You go tired for the Holy Ghost with your fast self. 
That goes for my sons, the ones that are fast. Go tarry for the Holy Ghost. You go tarry. Order in the church. You don't be telling two and three and four sisters the same thing. I love you. About five sisters, I love you. Would you marry me? About five different sisters. If any of you brothers plan to marry someone, and yet one got the Holy Ghost and the one don't, or both don't have the Holy Ghost, and you decide to put your relationship on hold. That's what me and my wife did. I had the Holy Ghost. She didn't. In falsehood. I told her, we both agreed. I told her, no, 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 let's put this on hold. Because I knew I was in her way. And I knew I wanted, I wanted that woman. But I was in her way. So I backed off. And she backed off. It wasn't for long that I backed off. What was in her way backed away. She received the Holy Ghost. Just that simple. You know, now, if you know both of y'all is on hold, then there's no need for the sister, both of y'all on hold, but then the sister going to start talking to another brother while you both agreed things on hold. Or the brother start talking to another sister while you both agree things on hold. You both agree that things on hold and then one say, oh, we ain't together no more. Won't tell the truth, we on hold. Right. It's just we ain't together. That's a deceiver. That's right. You sisters that do it and you brothers That's that do it. Right. You are deceivers. That's right. That's right. That's right. And users. And you ain't ready to marry a cat. Amen. Well, I'm getting older, Pastor Jennings. I want to be married before I'm 40. Because you're 40, that don't mean you're an adult. You can be a 40-year-old kid. Marriage is a responsibility. Are you mentally and emotionally ready to go down that road? That's why we teach our women. Get a job. If you're in school, don't let no relationship cause you to quit school. I don't care how crazy you are about the Jolly Green Giant. If he look at you and say, ho, 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 you better stay in school. Get that degree. Good teaching. Good teaching. And if he got an apartment and you got a house, don't let him tell you you got to sell your house. Oh, no, I don't work hard to got my house. I ain't selling my house. Amen. Well, you love me, yeah, but I don't love you enough that I'm going to sell my house right. and my hard work for you. For what? Oh, no. well, what do you want me to go backward for? Amen. Don't start giving no brother no money. Amen. Paying his rent, paying his electric, paying his mortgage. What's the matter with you? Well, we help us on one another. Oh. You being used. Don't you know that? You young brothers that are so quick to tell your personal business. Try shutting up. Yeah. Anytime a young man is quick to tell you his personal business, you a fool to go confide in him about your business. He's going to tell all your personal information to everybody he's dealing with. A gossiping woman is sickening. A gossiping man is paralyzing. Gospel man is enough to paralyze you. Are you listening? Oh, yeah. Ah. Sinful nation. Sinful thing. A people laden with the nickel. Hold it. Come on. Some say he don't want none of his kids to get married. I would love for all of them to marry. Right the first time. I want them to do it right the first time. 
The first, I'm not like a lot of these fathers who, can't, who try to rush their kids out the house when they get grown. My, my parents wasn't like that. My parents told us, look, you stay as long as you want, as long as you work and do things and whatnot, help as long as you want. Then when you're ready, you go and we'll, we'll help you every step of the way. That's the way we are with our kids. Stay there as long as you want, as long as you do what you're supposed to do and you're working and whatnot and, and the amen and we'll support you and help you every way we can. I'm a firm believer of that. Don't get interested in some sister that's a sinner. Right then you broke God's commandment. Don't get interested in a man that's he not even in the church. You broke God, you're going into it wrong. God made a law here. You got to respect God's law. So if you go into a relationship, keep God's law in mind first. Look past him. Look past her. And the first thing you should look at, God's law. Because I love that woman before we got married. The first thing I looked at was God's law. She can tell you my, my thing was God's law. I wasn't even willing to marry. She ain't had the Holy Ghost. That's right. And I wasn't, I wasn't trying to, Lord, hurry up and fill it, Lord. Hurry up and fill it, Lord. Lord, you know I need to get married. No. God's law. Some of y'all want to get married just because you're hot. Marriage don't cool everybody off. That's where you're wrong. If that brother been used to getting cooled off a certain way, then he get a wife and she don't know her way to the fire hydrant, then he's stuck. Truth, man. Huh? That is the truth. She don't know how to put the fire out. It's gonna be a problem. Yeah. She got to know how to put his fire out. He got to know how to put her fire out. Right. If he don't know how to put her fire out, she gonna look at another fire department. Right. <laughs> Engine Company Twenty Two. That's it, man. Nice, nice. Ah! That's the truth, man. That is the truth. Amen. You young fellas that's looking at the pulpit, you can't even keep your drawers on, lose sight on it. Don't even look at it. You ain't ready for it. Amen. Some want it because of attention. But that don't mean you can handle the attention. True. Can't handle the truth. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. Ah, sinful nation. A people lay. You don't want to make the mistake that so many have made. I listened to my parents. Wonderful. Yes, I did. That's right. I thought of this young girl that came. To my house when I was in high school. I didn't even tell her where I lived. She popped up. Oh, my mother called me, Nikki. Uh -huh. My mother asked her her name. And when she told her, my mother didn't even say it. Nikki, some girl down here. What? Ha. I looked. I came down. I was like, how did you find my house? She said, oh, I kept watching the stop. You got off. Came time for school. Got off at Broad on the park. I will watch the way you walk. And I guess I asked the first person I saw, do you know the Jennings house? And they took me right to it. Mm. And there she was downstairs. Come on, Jay. Come on. She said, Gino, I want you to go with me home. I said, I ain't going with you home. She said, you scared? I said, no, I'm, 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 you came here. You can go home, but I ain't going to you. She said, oh, come on, Gina, ain't no one there. I said, okay, you go home. I learned later she was already pregnant. Freshly pregnant. Freshly pregnant. Just fresh. Just, it just happened. Freshly. With the guy out, the guy was in the same classroom I was in. Fresh pregnancy. Freshly. Freshly. Fresh in the oven. And if I would have gave in and hearkened to her, 
I would have been today still taking care of what never was mine. And this have this type of event have set a lot of you men up. Every time a woman says something is yours, stop taking the face value. And you ain't married, get that blood test. Well, I, I want it to be mine. I don't care how much you want it to be your car. If you ain't buy it, it ain't yours. Go check it. I want it to be mine, but it ain't yours. Imagine five kids and not one is yours. Not one. Amen. I remember I preached this some years ago and a brother really took this to heart and he went back and checked on all of them. Found out 11 wasn't his. I'm like Logan, come on! <laughs> so when I, when I preach this, I'm telling you, find out 11 of them was not his. And he was taking care of them for years. Woman collecting that money for years. He, I preached that thing so hard one day, he said that thing got next to him. He called each of those children up. One by one, uh -huh. got a blood test. Nice. This is after 20 or 30 something years taking care of him. Mm. 11 of the group was not his. So if any of you get offended by this preaching, you shouldn't. That's right. That's right. I'm against any man using a woman or a woman using a man. And that's exactly what I'm dealing with. When a person uses you, they are desperate and they have no self-respect. That's right. That's right. You mean you check your track? You check your track record? You got a bunch of youngins and eleven ain't yours, and you've been taking care of them for the past 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40 years, and you find out they ain't yours. You thought they was of the tribe of Reuben, and they really come, and they and they really came from Moab. Are oh, you listening to the old man? Oh, yeah. Ah. Sinful nation. It's like something Dan would say. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Sinful, Sinful nation. nation. A people laden a with people iniquity. Loaded with sin. A seed of evildoers. You in church and you using women and using men. You a user and you in church. Seed of evildoers. You a product of wickedness. That's Children that are corrupt. Children that are corrupt. They are corrupt. They have forsaken the Lord. You ain't following the Lord. You forsook him. Yeah. You should not use a brother for money. You should not use a brother to pay your rent. You should not use a brother to pay your car note. That's true. You should not use no sister for money. You should not use no sister to get on good side for money. Right. And you a grown man? Oh, no. You sit to stop being so wild about somebody that you're willing to be used monetarily like a fool. Amen. Are you listening? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Did you hear this? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Ah, I don't know whether folk gonna be too glad I'm back now. <laughs> Ah, sinful nation. What kind of nation? Sinful nation. People laden with iniquity. I don't want my sons and daughters walking down the aisle with something that ain't going to stick with them or then find out they don't want later. And then kids is already here and the kids in the middle. That's true. That's true, man. No. My job as a parent is to protect. And we, what we preach protects you. If you're willing to hear. Don't 
think everything come to church jumping and jerking. <laughs> That's what the problem is. You got jump jerkers. <laughs> jerk. Look at Simone, you old jumping jerk. What? JJ, a jumping jerk. Some are users. Some, some did that same stuff in the street and they came in the church with the exact same mentality. It's true. You go tell him all your business and then he go tell all your business to other people. Are right, you listening? Yes. Do you hear this? Ah. Ah. Sinful nation. Sinful nation. A people laden with iniquity. People loaded with iniquity. A seed of evildoers. Seed of evildoers. Children that are corruptors. Corrupt. They have forsaken the Lord. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel. You ain't getting God to get me, be angry with me. That's, right. That's, That's right. why. My mindset is I really don't care who get mad at me when we preach the gospel. And I mean it from my soul. I just don't. I'd rather have God favor than the favor of people. And the problem with people is they're looking for favor from each other. First, before they look from God. God favor first. I'm laboring to put in you. Put God first. Pastor Jen and suppose God put us together. That's nice, but that still don't mean y'all gonna stay together. That's true. That's something that y'all two gotta work out at. Everybody ain't marriage material. I'm a designer. I know how to design buildings, clothes, all that. All fabric is not made for suits. That's true. This is made for a suit. You ain't gonna get me to wear this as a dress shirt. I don't want to itch. This is made for a table, a wall, a counter. This a marble ain't made for pants. Can you imagine marble pants with the cuff this thick? You'll be walking like the Tin Man going to Oz. Everything that speak in tongue and shake is not relationship material. Are you listening? Not just not marriage material. Some are not even relationship material. Because when there's a clash in maturity, there's a problem. Because no woman want to feel like she's raising a child. Look past suits and shoes and hair. And eyes and cheap cologne. That's right. You fellas look past complexion, built, hair, and soundness of speech. Look past it. Pastor Jim, I tried all that, but man, you know, man, she just she, she got me all turned out, man. You know, I'm, I'm like, I'm like turned up, Pastor. I mean, I. Uh, you know, uh, she invited me to her house. Man. Said, Look at the way you're talking. You all messed up. It's like somebody on dope. You know, and I, I, I went to her house, man. Man, I don't Now, here, here, the old man. A man's wallet. Should not dictate you no more than a woman's womb dictates you. A woman should not be able to keep you because of her body. I have met men. PJ, man, it, she, she's banging. I'm like, I'm like, okay, what's her character like? Man, she ain't no good. This girl is, this girl is rotten. She ain't no good. And then they say, but, yeah. but yeah. PJ, man, you sent me to the moon, man. I, me and E.T. was riding next to each other. 
You mean to tell me you would take body over character? You would take the feeling of meat over the value of character? Meat without character is spoiled. It's rotten. Because who else is sharing that at the table? Who else is carving that turkey? Who else is she giving that meat to? If he can keep you because of money, when you run out, she gonna run out. The moment you said, ain't got it. Oh, you ain't got it. Well, if you ain't got it, you ain't getting it. So what's she going to do? She's going to talk to either the friends that she in the street or she's going to go to some other brothers with her same pitiful story. You should not allow leg to dictate you. And you should not allow money that a man has to dictate you. Because if leg dictates you, you's a puppet. If money dictates you, you a puppet. And that means either one can be easily used by the same thing. That's true. If you tell that fella, uh-uh, no, we, yeah, we talk about marriage, but we ain't doing sex until we get married. Well, well, wait a minute now, wait a minute now. You're both under the same leader getting the same teaching, and yet he's throwing a tantrum. Well, you know, there's a sister that keep yanking on me, yanking on me. She's ready to give it up. So what you want to tell her that for? So what, even when a brother, the moment he tell you that, tell him it's over. Tell him it's over. Because his objective of telling you that is to let you know, well, look, what you don't want, what you won't give me. You know, there's someone just, just wait. That's an admission. Yeah. That he's a dog waiting to be pet. That's true. That's right. I don't want nothing like that under my roof. Oh, no. No more than I want my sons walking down the aisle with a monetary user who just wants the name Jennings. That's right. What's in the name Jennings? It ain't Jesus. So if any of you looking at my children because of their name, you stupid. The power's in the name of Jesus Christ, not in the name of Jennings. <laughs> Are you listening to the old troublemaker? You young brothers that are watching in all the locations can't keep your drawers on. And you're proposing to about two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different sisters. Uh -huh. Come on, Jay. Come on. Stay away from the pulpit. You don't even express you're interested in being a minister. If you love attention, ministry ain't for you. Because you won't be able to take compliments. That's right. the, people will, the people will push you too fast, which will cause you to run too fast. And you're going to run right into hell. That's right. Ah! Sinful nation. Dirty things. Uh -huh. A people laden with iniquity. Know that? With sin. A seed of evildoers. A seed of evildoers. Children that are corrupters. Children that are corrupt. They have forsaken the Lord. They left God. They abandoned yes. him. They kicked him aside. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. Listen, it's bad enough dealing with the angry man or an angry woman. That's no comparison. Dealing with the angry God. An angry God can touch everything you have. And then strip it from you quicker than a second.
Whatever God bless you with, value it. Take care of it. Don't get caught up in it. But don't let some nut cause you to lose it either. That's it. Excellent. Some of us need to back up and regroup and get ourselves spiritually correct. Because if you look at ourselves spiritually, we messed up some of us. Some of us are just messed up. We really need to do ourselves. Do you. Are you listening? So I'm going to say I'm glad he's not my father. Yes, I am. I'm your spiritual father. Some ain't had an earthly father to tell them nothing. If many of us had a father and a mother that was on the job, a lot of stuff we got into, we wouldn't have done it. In some cases, we had a mother and father that did their job. We were just hard head and wouldn't listen. But there's some mistakes that have been made. When you look back, they're not even worth repeating. Are you listening? Yes. One more time. Ah. Sinful nation. Dirty thing. Right. A people laden with iniquity. Loaded with sin. A seed of evildoers. A seed. That, that's a broad statement. Yes. A seed. A seed of evildoers. Children that are corrupt. Children that are corrupt. They have forsaken the Lord. They left God. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel they unto anger. God unto anger. They are gone away backward. The preaching of the gospel is designed to bring you forward. But the Lord said they done what? They are gone they are away. They are gone away backward. Backward. Why should you be stricken anymore? Aren't you tired of being hit by the Lord? Aren't you tired of the Lord chastising you? The Lord even asks, why should you be hit? Stricken why anymore. Why should you be stricken? Why should you be chastised? Why should you be rebuked anymore? Aren't you tired of it? Man, God laid me out. I'm tired of it. Lay me out once. That's enough, Lord. Don't, don't keep pounding on me. But if, keep, if you got the pound on me repetitiously to keep me out, there, out of hell, then you go ahead and work me over. Go ahead and work me over. Right. What did he say? Why should you be stricken anymore? And what? You will revolt more and more. A lot of folk can't take chastisement. They revolt. They rebel more and more. You try to talk some sense into them. They get mad quick. Yeah. A fool ways are right in their own eyes. Yeah. I want to correct you. Don't try to bring no scripture because you don't want to be corrected. Shut your mouth and submit to correction so you can be saved. Yeah. If you bring a scripture, go and prove what? Close your mouth so you can be saved. Yeah. I don't care who you are. Listen. Why should you be stricken anymore? And you will revolt more and more. You will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick. What's wrong with us today? Whole head, the whole is head sick, is, sick, is sick, and the whole heart, and the whole heart faint. faint. What else? From the sole From of the, the foot, sole of the foot, even unto the unto head, the head, there is no soundness in it. No soundness. From the feet to even the head, there is no soundness in it. Unstable, but wounds. But what? But wounds. Unstable, nothing but wounds. And bruises. Nothing but a bunch of wounds and bruises. You know why? You wouldn't listen to nobody. No one couldn't tell you nothing. And a lot of pain that come in our lives come because we hard here. Yeah, that's true. There's some pain that's avoidable if we simply listen and obey. That is the truth. When we become arrogant and self-righteous, ain't nobody can tell you nothing because the, the Lord is telling you everything all the time. I meet them overzealous people. The Lord is sitting with them with eggs. The Lord is sitting with them with grits. The Lord is sharing oatmeal with them. The Lord is breaking bread with them at lunch. The Lord go to McDonald's with them. They go through the drive-thru. The Lord asks them, uh, what you want? 
They sit in Wendy's with the Lord. It's true. Them and the Lord hang out at Popeye's. Mm. I heard all, all type of stuff. I mean, one sister said she's so close to the Lord that she had a relationship with him. I don't mean as a father and a daughter. I mean physical relationship. I told her, God don't want you. I just told her, I said, God don't want you. I said, if you were the last woman on earth, God wouldn't want you. She said, how can you say that, Pastor Dennis? I said, because you of the devil. Get yourself together, human family. Yes. You out here living like a fool, and then the moment you die, you want Jesus. Or if you get sick close to death, you want the Lord. You better get yourself together. Get your act right. You got the best thing on the earth that God ever gave man. You're the fool to lose it. Right. Acts 2, 38. In the book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 38. Then, what did the word of God say? Then Peter said unto them, repent. All right, you that are here, you heard the word of the Lord. Now what you going to do about it? Are you going to remain stubborn and be a fool and leave out and not obey it or stay in the false church you're in or stay out in the street and live that sinful, mad, wild, foolish life? You going to keep living together and you ain't married, shacking up? But I love them. So why didn't you get married? Well, I ain't ready to get married. Then why you keep living there? I don't want to leave. Why you don't want to leave? Because I love them. Then why don't you get married? Come on, I ain't ready to get married. Then why you staying there? Because I just keep going around the circles. <laughs> Repent of your sins, sinner. What else? And be baptized. How much? Every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. For what? For the remission of sins. What did God promise? And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Anybody Ghost. Anybody want to obey the word of God so you don't get in eternal hell and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ? Stand on your feet if you want it today. Wonderful. Wonderful. All of you that are standing, follow that brother right there on the side that's pointing to you. All of you sisters that are standing, follow the sisters that's coming to you. All right, we're going to start at 5 o'clock this evening. Amen. Any meetings that y'all have, make them short, precise to the point. Don't hold them long so they can go eat and come back. Senior choir, too. What's that? Somebody said a senior, a senior choir rehearsal as well. This was given to me. A senior choir rehearsal. Yeah, that's all that's all. I tell you what, y'all do the senior required rehearsal another Sunday. Let them old folk go eat. Yeah. Let them folk, or let them seniors go eat and let them sit and relax yeah. and talk about the Bible and come back this evening. If you're going to try to have rehearsal with them, they got to eat. Some of them may have sugar and all that. Let them go eat. Or let them rehearse while they're eating. <laughs> let them eat and sing. Let us all stand. <laughs> Under him that is able to keep you from falling and present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. Only wise God, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, to him be glory and power both now and forever. Brothers and sisters, say amen.